So doctor, you've actually said that the current practice of medicine is unintelligent. Did, did you mean that? It, it's actually um, startling how primitive our medicine is today because we t typically give uh, a, a medicine to millions of people at the same dose when in fact there's a tremendous amount of splay or heterogeneity about how people respond to medicines. And also, also many people will take five or six medicines for a particular condition for heart disease or high blood pressure when only one of those, if they're lucky, is actually helping them. And we use very expensive technology like defibrillators, which are great for the right people, but it turns out that 90% of people that have a defibrillator never needed it in the first place. So doctor, since you have suggested that the current way that medicine is being practiced is unacceptable, can you give us an example of one way doctors could then diagnose disease and treat it? Well, r right now already one of the genes that accounts for a fourth of all heart attacks has been identified. And so all we know of it as a marker, we don't even understand how it works, but we know that those people who carry a copy or even worse, two copies of this marker are very high risk for developing a heart attack in their lifetime. But now we can do this in uh, this blood test of DNA in a child and we would know 50 years ahead of time whether that individual has a risk of heart attack. And just picture that across all different diseases, whether it's a type of cancer or whether it's you know virtually any type of disease. That's where medicine is going and it's a real revolution to be able to have that information so early in life many decades before a disease could strike. What exactly is genomic medicine? So genomics is just really the study of our genome. There's three uh, billion coding letters. And so those coding letters essentially are a code of life and in that are 20,000 genes. And so there's a lot of junk DNA if you think about it, but there's 20,000 genes and they are the genes that are responsible for who we are, our individuality biologically, but also our destiny for health and disease. 500,000 people a year who die out of the hospital suddenly, many of whom have had a heart attack, but they had no warning signs and they didn't know that they had uh, a risk for this event. And so this is a big problem. Our medicine is just not too smart today. And we can't tell people that these are the things they're protected from. These are the different conditions. These are the ones they're at risk for. And soon we're going to be able to do that. In fact, it's happening so fast. There's about a disease every week now that's being cracked as far as its genetic underpinnings. So it's extraordinary. There's never been an avalanche of, of discoveries like this in the history of, of medicine. Uh, Dr. Tobel, tell us a little bit about the new research you have uh, among the aging. So we're studying the so-called welderly, which are those individuals who are over age 80 who have no chronic illnesses, who are on no chronic medications. Mm -hmm. They are in fact the, the harboring the secrets of health. They have many of the genes for heart disease, for cancer, for Alzheimer's, but they don't get these diseases and we understand they have these so-called modifier genes that cancel out their risk and it's really nature's way of protecting them. So if we can isolate these genes, they may actually have even more importance than finding the disease genes. And this is a unique approach and Scripps is leading the, the way and is under national and international surveillance right now.